So the long-awaited release of the firmware update for the Inspire 1 and P3s for multiple flight modes was released today on September 7th, 2015. We're going to look at the point of interest mode uh, and how that works. So make sure that you've updated your copter, your controller, and the Go app before you try this. Otherwise you won't see the menus. So once you've done that and you're in the air, uh, you want to fly to um, your point of interest. In this case I just flew out into the middle of the field here. I've got some horses out here but I flew a fairly tight circle. Um, once you get to where you want to go then you want to flip the switch uh, from P mode to F mode next to your left scroll wheel. This will enable the multiple flight modes and when you do that you'll get this menu for intelligent navigation. Select point of interest and if you're over the top of your point of interest already, just hit record the POI. And then once you've done that, um, you want to set the, uh, the radius. So you want to fly away from your point of interest, however far you want to make it uh, for your circles. And hit apply. And if you do that, and you're not above your return to home altitude, which mine was set at 20 meters. All you got to do is just fly up until your where it says current altitude is above your minimum return to home. Okay, that'll take you back to the point of interest screen here. And then if you hadn't already done it, you need to adjust your miles per hour or meters per second, and it should take right off. Uh, it does kind of tight circles there. I didn't go very far away from my. Uh, uh, point of interest, I'm only at 40 some feet. So, also there was a little bit of lag in the screen, uh, screen recording, but uh, it seemed to work okay. Uh, this is my first try, so as soon as the batteries charge up, we'll try it again. Maybe a little wider circle. Uh, I'm also recording on the camera, so that may have some um, something to do with the lag. I'm not sure. This is the first time I've ever done the screen recording. So when you're done, you just hit uh, pause, switch it back to your P mode, and you're done.